Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I wanted to do another video because now we are in the new season in the 2022 MLB season and we are going to go over the top five richest players per season currently in the MLB. We start the list with a tie for the fifth spot with Nationals pitcher Steven Strasburg and Los Angeles players Anthony Rendon. Strasburg signed a seven-year, $245 million contract, and it seems like it will be locked into that number for years to come. Now, I won't go into the details of the taxes and what the team does for the yearly salary numbers for the team. He's been a phenom and someone who had a lot of potential. He's been hit with some pretty bad injuries, but overall still a very good pitcher. Maybe not worth that kind of money? But sometimes that's just how the market goes. He's just about 35 million. Now, Anthony Rendon, on the other hand, also signed a seven year, $245 million contract and went to the Angels from the Nationals. He is also making $35 million per year. Teaming up with Trout and Otani seemed like a good idea. He had career high numbers and that's what drove his giant signing for him. His salary will end up being closer to $38 million in the next couple of years. I think the Angels might be in a somewhat good direction. Who knows? But eh, I, I like what they've done in the past two seasons or so. Next at number four, we have Carlos Correa. Now, Carlos Correa signed with the Minnesota Twins, signing a three-year, $105 million contract. But this is interesting with a player opt-out and some no-trade clauses going on. He currently is going to pull in $35.1 million this year and next year. This guy is an all-world talent, so we'll see if he can carry it carry the tw uh, Twins and accept more responsibility. In Houston, he had more stars to carry the load in a, in. Bregman and Jose Altuve. This could make this could be a make or break season for Correa. Good good player, but we're gonna see what he does with the twins. Number three, we have the one, the only, Mike Trout. Now, Mike Trout is someone that people classify as the best player in baseball, even in the history of baseball. He's great in every word, but he's had some recent injury, but the game needs him and Otani on the field at the same time. It's kind of insane that this guy signed a 12-year, $426 million contract. I'll say that one more time. A 12-year, $426 million contract. But he's around $35.5 million right now, and I think he deserves every bit of it. If he could stay healthy and the Angels could actually make some noise in the playoffs, if they get there, then I think having Mike Trout on the big stage will be great for the game overall and his own legacy because he has come with the hype, he has answered the hype, and just I just want to see him on the field. Now, at number two, we have Garrett Cole. And I'm just going to scream out, Cheater! Cheater! I'm just kidding. But kind of not really. He's a pitcher for the Yankees who came from Houston and is very decent, uh, way above average. Don't get me wrong. He's a top pitcher but has created some stains on himself with the cheating scandals. But that's not why we're here. That's a whole nother video. He signed a nine-year deal at $324 million, earning a current salary of $36 million. Now, because of the Yankees and their huge payroll every year, they can afford someone like him. I think he deserves it. But the Yankees flame out every year and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. He's had winning seasons since 2017 and always a decent ERA, but we'll see what happens with him, but more so with the team. Like I said, the Yankees flame out almost every single year. Now, our top guy on this list at a staggering number of $43 million per season is Max Scherzer. This guy has always been unreal and a class act, act as far as I'm concerned. Never any issues. He signed a crazy deal worth $130 million coming out to be $43 million per season. Now, who knows if he'll stay with the team. I think it's good. I think it's going to, to depend on how the Mets do this season. He seems like the kind of guy who wants to compete and win. He's been on the Diamondbacks, Detroit. He won with the Nationals, did a season-ish with the Dodgers, and now he's on the Mets. 
always a top five or top three pitcher and just dominate in those outings. This guy deserves it and seems like one of the best locker room guys that I've heard of. No issues. You know, sure, the eyes kind of bug you out if you don't notice them right away, but that's a whole nother thing. But I think he deserves it. Who knows if he's going to stay with the Mets. Like I said, I really think it's going to be dependent on how they do in this season. He definitely seems like someone who wants to win, not just get his money and go. But we will see what happens with that. Here are some honorable mentions. Francisco Lindor of the Mets is making 34.1 million per year. And the drama-filled Trevor Bauer, who hasn't played yet, is making 34 million per year. Well, there you have it, folks. Hope you liked the video and make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. We love doing these top five lists and all the sports stuff. And we'll see you guys next time.